One wig at a time. Sandy Sandberg received a call several months ago from a school guidance counselor who told her about a 15 year old student with leukemia. The student had lost her hair in treatment and her family could not afford a wig. Sandberg, who co founded the Wig Exchange, a volunteer organization that provides women undergoing chemotherapy, with high quality donated wigs, asked the counsellor to send a picture of the girl so she could search her stock for something suitable. The photo made Sandberg, 41, sit down. The girl was a perfect match for the wig the organisation had received nine months earlier, one with a powerful story. It had been owned by a 23 year old who had battled leukemia and had been devastated by the idea of losing her hair. Her college friends had pooled funds, raising enough money to buy her a beautiful 3,000 euro wig with long, straight, brown hair. I couldn't believe it, Sandberg said. It looked beautiful on her. This is the work that Sandberg does with the wig exchange, which she started roughly a year ago with her friend Kate Conn, herself a breast cancer survivor, and Kate's husband Paul. Sandberg previously worked as a nurse practitioner in a private practice in New York City, then launched a business providing starter kits to new parents, which provided tips and produced samples. But after the September 11th attacks, which killed two of her husband's best friends, the business crumbled. The couple, who were high school sweethearts, took stock and moved their two young children to the suburban area of Rye, New York. After moving, Sandberg, a self-proclaimed type A workaholic who took no maternity leave after the birth of her sons, now 13 and 14, decided to take some time off. She did some volunteer work and in 2006 participated in the Avon Walk for Breast Cancer to honour a close friend who'd recently died from the disease. A year later, Sandberg and some of her friends started a team from Rye, which morphed into Soul Riders, a volunteer organisation that raises money for the Avon Foundation and also donates funds to help address unmet cancer-related needs in the Rye community. While running Soul Riders, Sandberg occasionally heard from women undergoing chemotherapy who needed a wig but could not afford one. I began to do some research and found that high-quality wigs are thousands of dollars, she said. For a human hair wig, it can be three, four, five thousand dollars. I was blown away. Around the same time, her friend Con had finished treatment and was wondering what to do with the beautiful human hair wig. She didn't want to throw it away, but her children didn't want to see it. The two women and Con's husband hatched the idea for an exchange that would provide donated wigs to women going through chemotherapy, regardless of their income. Early on, a local newspaper heard about the organisation and wrote an article. Sandberg received roughly 90 calls in just two days. Today, the wig exchange has received almost 400 donated wigs from all over the country. Intake is handled by three volunteers, including Sandberg, who have their wigs professionally cleaned and photographed before sealing and storing them in what was once the playroom for Sandberg's sons. One of the great surprises for Sandberg is how therapeutic the program has been for donors. This is a big step for them, to give their wig away and to be aware that somebody is coming after them and is going to walk those same steps, she said. This is a tangible way of paying it forward and helping the next person. Hello.